Hi everyone, welcome to Leo Sunlight Insight Tarot. This is Mary. So this is a special Valentine's Day pick a card reading. I thought this would be fun to do. Um, I have done pick a card readings in the past. If you browse my channel uh, last year, I did some. If you'd like to go back and look, I'll probably put a link below to the playlist for all the pick a card readings that I did in the past. But I thought this would be a fun idea. I just did a general collective Valentine's Day reading, how your person is feeling, thinking about you. And now this is about what will you be doing on Valentine's Day? What's going to happen? Are you going to be alone? Are you going to meet somebody new? Will you be asked out on a date? You know, this could just is just random. It could be anything, so not necessarily about a connection or who you have in mind, although it could be. I'm just going to take the energies as they come and see what we get. So I have three decks here. So the first deck I have here is uh, Legacy of the Divine deck, deck number one, and I pulled a Lover's Oracle. So this is the Lover's Oracle that will go with that deck. So this is this card with the Legacy of the Divine tarot deck. Deck number two here is the sun and moon tarot. And this is the card I pulled for, I pulled the cards randomly. So this is the card I pulled for that deck. So you can look at the decks, decide which one uh, you like. This third deck here is the oceanic tarot. And this is the card that I pulled for that deck. So you can look, I'll timestamp below each deck. And I'll also probably pull uh, some Whispers of Love and Romance Angels also for each deck. So we're going to get started here with pile number one. Pile number one. So if you picked pile number one, pile number one here, which is the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. So your card here from the Love is Oracle, this is the front. And... This is what it says here. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love and life. So there may be a choice here that you may have to make on Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day. So we're going to see what that is all about for pile number one. So what do we have for pile number one? Pile, I just want to write down uh, the time. Pile number one. What's going to happen to pile number one, Spirit, please, for Valentine's Day? Please, Spirit, thank you so much for Valentine's Day when it comes to matters of the heart. Oh, so we got the star energy here. So there may be a wish or a dream that comes true for you. Divinely guided energy. Remain hopeful, optimistic here with the star. It's good energy. That's too many. It's a big clump. What else do we have here for pile number one? We have the Knight of Coins. So somebody may be taking a very long time. Could be somebody you work with may approach you. Could be out of the blue, like you don't see it coming. They could approach you um, out of the blue and you're like, oh, really? <laughs> All right, what else do we have here? So we have the Ace of Coins and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of pentacle energy here. Somebody I feel you work with has probably been watching you and you're like, and like, wow, this person is like a dream, a wish come true kind of energy. Uh, and the Ten of Wands about laying down burdens. So they may just like, can't take it anymore. They can't, I feel like they may not take it anymore. And now this Ace of Coins is something very stable. So they're very, they could be very serious, very, very serious. They're thinking long term. They're thinking, you know, uh, they just can't take the burdens anymore. They just have to tell you how they feel. Uh, they're just really burdened down by their feelings, emotions, how they feel. Wow. Okay. And you may need to make a choice here. They might just say, yeah, <laughs> love and emotions here with the King of Cups. So they may ask you out for Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day because there's a lot of love and emotions here with the King of Cups. We have a lot of pentacle energy, which is earth. Uh, we have earth, we have fire, now we have water. We have Aquarius here with the stars. So, and it could be anybody, but um, wow, okay. So let's get a few more. Yeah, they, they see you as a wish and dream come true. A lot of love and emotions they're feeling. I feel like they've been watching you 
They've been watching you and they just can't take it anymore. They have to tell you how they feel. They're very, very serious here. All right, what else? Ooh. The Three of Cups. Yeah, they want to take you out. They want to have a good time. They want to have a drink. They want to, you know, that's about reuniting, coming together, having a good time. <laughs> wow, and we got the lovers here. So <laughs> they definitely see you as lover potential here. That, like a soulmate, they definitely, that's a soulmate card. So they definitely have a lot of feelings and emotions for you. Could be somebody you work with or somebody from around your work environment or something like that. It could even be your boss or supervisor, although some places you can't do that. But if it's not that, uh, or maybe they're somehow um, maybe not directly your boss or supervisor, but somehow work in the same facility. All right, but they want to take you out. They want to have a good time. Three of Cups energy here. That's, you know, going out, having a good time, celebrating. Definitely you'd be out going out having a good time uh, for Valentine's Day. And you see like the lovers here does look like a heart. So let's get one more for pile number one. Pile number one. And they, you know, the Knight of Coins is a very slow moving energy. They could have been watching you and had feelings for you for upwards to like a year and never said anything. The moon, yeah. And as I said that, I draw the moon card which can be about, you know, kind of keeping a secret, you know, not revealing everything. So I feel like they never revealed how they truly felt because got the star and then the moon here. So yeah, they just can't take it anymore. They have to tell you how they feel. They may see you as somebody who's very stable, secure, independent, grounded. You you know, you're very well uh, manicured. You take care of yourself. You make your coin kind of energy. Yeah. So here we come with uh, a love offer. Uh, can we go out? Can I take you out? You know, taking that passionate action forward. They may, may see you, you know, very passionate energy also. And now going out and you may accept this. You may have this choice. But you may accept it with the Two of Cups energy here about people coming together and having a drink, unity. So that energy is here to come together, you know, fiery action forward be careful of you know maybe end up in this in the sack the same night i don't know here but here's some uh words of affection and love and hey can we go out on a date can we go out for a drink can i take you out for valentine's day they see who's very somebody again i feel like this could be somebody that you work with that you are you know from work in some way shape or form and it may be unexpected okay so let's see here I feel like they've never told you. They could be watching you. They, wow, a lot of love, emotions, passion. They just can't take it anymore. They just have to ask you out. All right, so let's get let's get something with this deck for pile number one. Pile number one. So we have here, be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care. So it may take all their, all their gut and all their um, willpower here to make the effort to show you how much they care. I feel like they've been holding back for a very, very long time and they haven't told you how they felt. All right, so let's get let's get a romance angel. Let's get a romance angel. Pile number one. Pile number one. Let's get a romance angel for pile number one. Wow. Yeah, attraction. <laughs> Yep, definitely a lot of, and maybe, you know, maybe you kind of attracted to this person too, or, or maybe you kind of, you know, may not be as deep as they feel about you, but maybe you always say, oh, that person's kind of cute, or maybe you're friendly towards each other, but I think uh, they like you a lot more than you like them in a way, but we have attraction here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, so definitely is attraction here uh, between, well, 
definitely this person towards you. So I do feel like maybe somebody you know from work or around your work environment or somebody you see every day on the way to work, you know, on the way home from work or something like that. Uh, definitely, definitely um, has been watching you and they just can't take it anymore. They have to ask you. They're very serious here with the pentacle energy here about uh, asking you out. So pile number one, hope that resonated for you. And uh, best of luck to you and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is always to shine your light. And if you're new, you can also check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, all that great stuff. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. Okay. So let's move on here to pile number two. Pile number two. Okay, if you picked pile number two, pile number two here, we have the sun and moon tarot for pile number two. And with this deck, we have this card here. And this says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So if you're in a situation or you're feeling like... Um, you know, maybe, you know, this just isn't going to happen for me. Maybe I'm just going to be alone for Valentine's Day or, you know, there's nobody. It's kind of almost like I'm getting like a what was me kind of card. Or you could just be going through something right now and feeling like, well, I just don't have time, you know, for anything, you know, else in my life right now. But this is telling you here that you do in, you know, have the right to enjoy happiness, um, enjoy no matter what you're going through. So let's see. And if you're watching this and you're probably curious about uh, you know, what's going to happen for Valentine's Day or just love in general or whatever here, but I thought this would be a fun kind of reading for Valentine's Day. So pile number two. You chose pile number two. Let's see what's going on for you, Spirit, please. The Valentine's pile number two. We got the Ace of Wands, so fiery, new, passionate, beginning, something exciting. Some of you might have just started like a new job or a new business or uh, a new creative project or maybe you're just very, very busy um, in life in general. It's some sort of new aspect, new path you're on, new something new. And maybe you just don't have time for anything else in your life right now. Because this says, no matter what your cir circumstances, you do, um, yeah, so, you know, you could have started something new here that's exciting, a new endeavor, project, business, job, something, but for some reason, you're worried about finances, so you may be working, working, working to try to get things off the ground or try to make extra money or something like that, because uh, the Five of Pentacles can be about monetary lack. So, you know, I think you're worried about that and you're just like, I just don't have time for, I don't have time to date. I don't have time for love. I don't have time for anything. But in the back of your head, you're a little bit curious because if you clicked on this reading, then there's obviously something um, for once. So, yeah, so you're worried here about your, uh, your basis, your foundation, your home life. Um, the four of wands is about, it's also about ceremonies and celebrations it can be about marriages and weddings it can be uh also your home life your foundation your security so i feel like you're really trying to secure things down in your home life yeah moving forward victoriously here so you're you're driving ahead you know triumphantly um on the go all the time i feel like just in your chariot and your work 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 but that's about moving ahead a lot of drive ambition uh success and victory go get her kind of energy i think you're trying really trying to work hard here on your foundation so there's something i feel like some of you if you pick pile number two two of swords indecisive yeah kind of energy it's like i don't have time for anything else but work 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 and building my foundation and uh my security 
because worried about financial lack here. So what else for pile number two? Judgment. So you need to make a judgment call here. Uh, final decision, a judgment call, you know, you may just have to decide here, you know, I need a life also. I just can't work, work, work and be, you know, career driven or goal driven or just concentrated on that all the time. You know, I need to mingle with other people. You see other people in the picture here. I need to make a conscious choice to uh, make that judgment call to forgive myself, forgive those around me for, you know, being too much, in, you know, ne maybe neglecting people around you or whatever here. But I feel like needing to mingle here, get out there and not be so indecisive about also having a life. No matter how you're driving forward, you also need a personal life. What else here? Yeah, because you do in, you do deserve happiness, the Nine of Cups energy. You do deserve joy, happiness, wish fulfillment. You do deserve to have all your dreams come true. Right now, I think, you're high, you think your happiness just lies in work, 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 and building that foundation in security and your stability and nothing else. But the star here is saying there's other things in life that are divinely guided for you. If you take the time to um, get out there in life, this is faith, hope, optimism, which is dreams coming true, healing energy, um, divinely guided energy for you. There are divinely guided other things out there for you in life that can also make you happy. So you need to make a con two choice, two cards here, making, needing to make a conscious cho choice and decision for your own peace, happiness, and um, sanity. I mean, you need a personal life too. So if you're resonating with pile number two, um, definitely here you do deserve joy and happiness. That's what the nine of cups is. You could be single, just concentrating on you and your work. But get out there and mingle, and uh, you do deserve happiness. You may go out, you know, go out with friends for Valentine. If you don't have a Valentine or you haven't been asked out, it is on a Friday night, I believe. Just go out with friends, and you may meet somebody that's divinely guided for you. That will be brought in by the star energy. Get in your chariot, get in your car, and go out with friends. Could also lead to a very fiery, passionate new beginning between you and another person. Yeah, the devil energy. So I think you're just concentrating on work, 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 nothing else kind of energy. Queen of Swords. So Queen King or Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords always reminds me of divine energy, shedding truth and clarity on this situation. So I do feel like it's divine energy saying, yes, you may be just... Um, like over, like letting your career or whatever here, you're so much focused on that. Like it's like running your life and that's like that devil energy. But you will have stability, king or queen of pentacles here. Doesn't matter. I mean, you will have success, victory, stability. You'll be making your coin. You don't have to worry so much. Kind of energy. So, yeah, I think you need to cut away this overworking or just concentrating on... Nothing else but work, work, work with that. Uh, Queen of Swords, you cut away things no longer serving you. Truth, clarity, telling like it is, not taking any BS, standing up for yourself. Um, yeah, I think you feel bound and tied to whatever you're doing in life right now. And you don't have, you don't make time for anything else. And Spirit wants you to know, yes, you deserve to have happiness and joy in a personal life and love. And there's something else divinely guided out there for you, so need to get out there to find it all right so let's get one of these for pile number two pile number two let's get one of these for pile number two please spirit thank you so much what's the message for pile number two for the collective watching this So we have romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. A purse, 
says personal attention and affection. So there is a divinely guided romance out there waiting for you, but you have to make the conscious choice to get out there and mingle to find it, to let that into your life. And lavishing each other in that love and romance. 52 is 7, divinely guided spiritual number the star divinely guided energy wow so let's get one of these also for you pile number two pile number two pile number two pile number two let's get one of these for pile number two thank you so much for everybody watching you can check the description box below for more information, uh, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip or donate, send a gift, all that's below. And we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So what I'm getting with that is, you know, maybe if you have, if you had had encounters along your journey here, uh, whatever new year started here, I feel like you always hit it right off. Like, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. Or if somebody's ever approached you, asked you out. You always said, no, 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 I don't have time. You know, I have too much going on to concentrate on me. And you never like gave anything a chance. So that would be like the other person having that unrequited love i mean not be may not be love but just kind of being like unrequited that's the kind of energy i'm getting like that but you do have a divinely guided romance out there waiting for you especially if you're well obviously you probably would be single if you're watching this so that's what spirit wants you to know so pile number two i hope that resonated for you best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always always say with my channel is to always always shine your light Okay, so let's move on to pile number three. Pile number three. <clears throat> okay, if you chose pile number three, this is the Oceanic Tarot, and this is the card that we have for you. So this is your message. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So you may need to be trusting in a certain connection or just trusting in love in general. So we'll see what the messages are here for you for pile number three. Welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Pile number three. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to check it out. If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. And you can check the description box below. Um, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading, how to tip or donate, or send a gift. All that information is below. So pile number three with the Oceanic Tower here. What's going on for you? What is this trust about? For pile number three. Pile number three, spirit, please. Okay. So we have the two of wands. So this is about making plans, decisions for your future. And we do have the devil here, which is about, it says temptation. And we have the six of wands. This is a success, victory. So... With the devil energy here, I mean, this could be anything. It could be fear. Um, this could be not having trust, having fear, doubt, insecurities, um, even low self-esteem, that kind of energy. And it's coming right below trust. So some of you may have really, really um, deep trust issues here. So needing to make a decision here about having success and victory in relationships, love, and that kind of energy. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get more energy here for, or you could have had a very, um, very like strong connection with somebody. It was very, because a lot of wands here, so it could have been very, very um, passionate and like sexual in nature. And, you know, something could have happened where uh, trust was broken between the two of you. 
or you know between a connection because we do have two which is about unity the six is one though one so it is about success and victory it also can be about ego and getting attention so let's see what else we have here so we have the fool so this is about taking a leap of faith a new beginning so what i'm getting with this is you could actually have somebody here um this could be somebody you were connected with it could have been very um i don't know, just very like sexual passionate and maybe um something happened here between the two of you and maybe there were some trust issues but now this is taking a leap of faith and a new beginning. So if this person does reach out, like around Valentine's Day, and says, hey, can we just go out, start over, start new, start fresh with that full energy, reset everything back to zero. Um, it's going to be your, it says here to trust. So I feel like you can trust this person no matter what the situation was between the two of you. Three of cups, yeah. It could have been a third party situation. It's right under the devil. You know, maybe you were just dating or maybe, you know, you weren't totally serious yet or maybe, you know, he had just gotten serious and then all of a sudden something happened with the third party energy or this could be the energy of, hey, can we start over, start fresh? Can we go out? Can we reunite? Can we have a good time? Can we have a drink? Uh, this is Three of Cups is always about rejoicing, coming together, reuniting, celebrating. So, you know, this person may just want to reunite, start over, start fresh. Can we make new plans and decisions moving forward? And I feel like it could be successful if you trust and just let it unfold naturally. So now we have the Empress energy. So this is the birth of something, something new here. So, yeah, and we got the Fool, which is something new. Leap of faith, a new beginning. Abundance with the Queen of the Ocean, which is the Empress card, which gives birth to new things, which is the mother of the deck. Um, could have had a child with this person um, for some, but this is knowing value and worth. Um, also, there could be a lot of abundance in this going forward. If you trust, let it unfold naturally and trust in having a new start. Going out, having a drink, you know, just talking. I do see success and victory here, making plans and de decisions for the future, if you trust here. Nine of Swords. So this stress, worry, anxiety about this too also could be that devil energy, like I had said. So fear and stress about, you know, what if this doesn't work out? What if it goes right back to the way it was before? Um, I don't know if I can trust this. Three of Wands. So this is about waiting uh, for the right time also. And then we do have the Seven of Cups. So, you know, there could have been options before, or this is a very daydreamy, confused, um, needing to make decisions kind of energy. But we do have the Ace of Wands under that, which is a very fiery, passionate new beginning. So it's exciting uh, kind of energy. So the energy is here for another new beginning. I think there's still going to be a lot of fire and passion here. But this is saying just to trust, let it unfold naturally, especially if they reach out. They may be getting a little nostalgia around, you know, Valentine and saying, you know, Valentine's a day of love and, you know, and I want to start fresh with this person. They may seize it as an opportunity to reach out and say, can we just go out, have a drink? Can we go out, talk about this and see where it goes? And you may be confused whether or not to trust that. I think maybe they have been waiting for the right time uh, to do this, to start fresh. Maybe they have been stressed out too, as well as you, about this whole situation. But Spirit wants you to test, wants you to know here, just to trust it, let it unfold naturally and see where it goes. And we do have success here. And the breath is something new and starting and resetting at zero. Going out, reunion, it says reunion right there. So pile number three. So we totally uh, got three different storylines here for each uh, pile. So let's see. Let's get let's get one of these here for pile number three. Pile number three. One of these for pile number three. Spirit, please. Pile number three. What 
is the message for pile number three, please? Thank you so much. So we have here practice compassion, see things from a different perspective. Exactly. And we have 15 here, which is six, which is a very healing, balancing number. So I do feel like, you know, if you look at the whole situation from a new perspective, going out, talking about it, you know, listening to each other's perspective, showing compassion, practicing compassion, understanding kind of energy, six here is about balance and healing energy. So things can be balanced and healed, I think, in this uh, energy. And also with the six of wands, another six. So, all right. So let's get one of these for pile number three. For the special Valentine reading here. Special Valentine reading here for pile number three. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is the message for pile number three? Spirit, please. Okay, that one. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I also take this as keep an open mind, gaining a new perspective, listening to each other, you know, talking it out and saying how you both truly feel. Moving forward to have this new beginning between the two of you and just trusting and letting it just all unfold naturally. Okay, pile number three. I hope that resonated for you. Um, so best of luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always said with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.